these have been declared either Michigan or national historic sites. Most people don't get in, okay? And he's got a ton here in the United States and he has a ton in Canada and we just didn't have time to point out and tell you all those different things. Uh, I just want us to, to, to remind us that black people just don't pop, you know, pop up from nowhere. We come from a strong history and that goes for architect and that goes for engineering. We can date back to the first written documentation of an architect and uh, uh, engineer, and that would be in, in Hotel, an African, okay? And he helped design, well he didn't help design, he designed the step pyramids in Egypt, and those are the oldest pyramids in Egypt. And it actually, next to it happens to be the first medical school in the world, so that's how I backed in the valley too. Okay, but I just wanna mention uh, also Elijah McCoy, the real McCoy, you ever heard that uh, statement? Elijah McCoy was a mechanical engineer. He was um, um, born in Canada and uh, went to Scotland to study, because again, uh, there was limited, uh, limited opportunities for blacks. He got his degree in mechanical engineering, came back over here, sounds familiar with, with um, uh, Cornelius, couldn't find a job. So he took a job uh, as, a, as a person who puts coal into the, the uh, the engine of, of trains and, and lubricates the, uh, the engine to make sure it doesn't freeze up, but he couldn't get a job as a mechanical engineer. But by doing that, he came across 57 different inventions, patents that he provided. And he was a, like a mentor to Cornelius. And we already mentioned Frederick uh, Pellman, who also worked for Mich Michigan Central Railroad with Elijah Moore. Now when I talk about these black hospitals, the first black hospital that opened in the city of Detroit is Mercy Hospital, and he probably had something to do with Mercy. Um, but the second black hospital, one that we know most of, more about, is Dun Dunbar Memorial Hospital, and that building is not very far from here. It's located at 580 Frederick Street, you can drive by and you can see it. But what you'll see is it's a house. And um, what Cornelius had to do was just the opposite of what they trained engineers to do. They train engineers to um, find out how you want to structure the function and then build that form around it, okay? What Cornelius Henderson had to do was he had to take a house and turn it into a hospital, okay? And so we know that he did that for at least six or seven of the earlier hospitals. That's one of those hidden secrets about him. And so he did that for Dunbar, for Parkside, he did it for the Fairfield Sanitarium, for uh, um, Samaritan General, St. Auburn General, and for Bethesda. 